And now, with the flame blue glove, and with the performance of Lana Turner, Autolite hopes once again to keep you in... Suspense! The trouble is, you never had any feelings, Dutch. You don't know what it is to feel, not like other people feel. You've spent too much time looking out at the world through dirty windows. I never liked working for your detective agency. I never liked you, Dutch. I never liked you at all. This is my last case. And this is my last report. You'll have to train someone else to go out and get tangled up in other people's lives. I thought I was through working for you when I married Jimmy Conway. But I was wrong. You showed up again last week. I was working in my garden. Even above the smell of the roses, I could smell trouble. Hello, Shadow. What? Dutch! Where did you come from? Just in the neighborhood. Here, give me those things. What do you know about a rose bush? Now, this one's got thrips. Trim it, use nicotine spray for a week or ten days, clear it up just like that. <laughs> Death, taxes, and Dutch. You know everything. You haven't changed a bit. Same pipe, same awful tobacco. <laughs> Uh, how's the detective business? I miss you, Shadow. You were the best operative I ever had. Oh, I'm flattered, Dutch. This gilded cage stuff okay? Gardens, clothes, car, time on your hands. You really like it? What do you think? Would you rather be a lady detective if you were me? Maybe. I don't know. You wouldn't be interested in working on a case, would you? I am now a happily married bride working on keeping her handsome husband. Besides, my license expired. I could fix that. This one's right up your alley, Shadow. You did the groundwork when you were with me. Sorry. I know the case was closed, but it's been nagging me. I still think it was murder. Uh, what case are you talking about? The Conway case. Mrs. Conway. I looked at you. You weren't kidding, but you were smiling. And you only smile when something might go wrong for somebody. Yeah, I still believe your husband killed his first wife. Hate me? Who hired you? Nobody, just nagged by the fact, Shadow. Eloise Conway, wealthy wife of not-so-wealthy Jim Conway, drinks ten dissolved sleeping tablets New Year's Eve. Coroner's jury says suicide. I just can't buy it. The police accepted the coroner's verdict. That day at the coroner's inquest, you disappointed me, Shadow, refusing to go on the stand. You'd been tailing him for two months. You could have told about his three lady friends. Telling those things to a coroner's jury wouldn't have helped one way or the other. Jimmy's clean and decent Dutch. He... he would have been arrested on suspicion of murder if you'd spoken up. Those girls meant nothing to him. They were just friends. Maybe, and he might have fed her those pills so he could have one of those friends. Then why did he marry me instead of whoever it was? You saved his hide, Pigeon. You didn't tell the coroner about his friends. Maybe he married you to play it safe for a while. Maybe... Jimmy had nothing to do with Eloise's death. You know, I keep thinking what she said when she hired us. How did she put it? Uh, yeah. Jimmy married me for my money. He was in love with somebody else. As soon as he thought it was safe, he went back to her. Went back to who? Who do you mean? Want to work on the case with me? No. No, I don't. Shadow, did you ever stop to think what might happen to you if he isn't innocent? If you let some little suspicion slip out somewhere and he gets it into his head that... <laughs> Doesn't it ever scare you? That song's just right, darling. Jimmy, you're home early. No, no, please. Keep playing. Did I ever tell you I love you? You wouldn't if you knew how really bad I am. But I love you. <laughs> well, you certainly know how bad I am. I'll bet there isn't a husband in the country married to the girl who tailed him all over town before she... Please, Jimmy. Well, I'm sorry. We've kidded about this before, right? Uh, it's just that I've had a bad day, that's all. My fault. You're trembling. Oh, poor darling. Sarah? Yes, Jimmy? Maybe you stayed around this house too much. Or maybe it's around you too much. What do you mean? After all that's happened here. This is where Eloise died. I, I just thought maybe it gives you the creeps to live here. We can sell it, darling. Get another place. Oh, no, Jimmy. This is our house now. 
I never was really jealous of Eloise. Well, there's nobody else. But, Jimmy, when Eloise did what she did, you had other friends... Now, Sarah... Were you in love with any of those girls? Kathy Dane, you used to sit around that nightclub listening to her sing. And Judy... Sarah, I never loved anyone. Not Kathy, not Judy, not Eloise, anyone. Until I met you. You believe that, don't you, Sarah? I want to, Jimmy. I want to so much. <laughs> The next afternoon, walking down Hollywood Boulevard, I saw an ugly second-floor office, and there was an ugly sign to go with it. Dutch Detective Service. I came up to see you, Dutch, to tell you to drop it. I won't drop it. They blow their heads off and take poison and jump off of buildings and chew sleeping tablets. But they don't go around hiring detectives to watch their husbands before they do it. Eloise Conway was bumped, and I'm going to find out about it. You're not going to pin it on Jimmy. He didn't have anything to do with it. If he didn't, one of his little friends did. Look, these old reports of yours include the names of three dames he went out with while you were tailing him. Yes, that's right. A torch singer named Kathy Dane, his private secretary, Millicent Taylor, and a Miss Million Dollars named Judy Fleetwood. And what about them? Look, Dutch, I asked Jimmy about those girls last night. They didn't mean anything to him. A woman knows her husband. Yeah, well, I know a woman. And if they want a guy bad enough, they'll kill for him. And one of them left this glove on the floor of the bedroom the night our client passed away. Oh, that old glove. The police weren't even interested in it as evidence. Well, I am. The police didn't have any Cinderella's to fit it on because you didn't mention Jimmy's girlfriends at the inquest. Which one of them does it fit, Shadow? Size six and a half. Commonest size in the world. Fit anybody. Look, even fits me, Dutch. Well, the color's a little unusual. You'll grant me that? Flame blue? Yes, I guess so. All right. If we find the partner to this glove, we've got something. You gonna help? I, I can't. All right. There's other female ops in this burg. I kind of thought you'd like to do it. You know, see that your husband's handled fair and square, no frames or anything like that. Oh, all right, Dutch. I'll give it a whirl. Good. But in a week, you'll come to me and tell me I was right. That Jimmy's innocent. Oh, I'm sure I will, Shadow. I'm sure I will. 